Hello everybody, this is Shocklings1000 reporting for duty, welcoming you to a bonus video of cell damage. In the last episode you saw me finish things off officially with Cinder getting to see his finale and I said I was going to do a bonus video where I was going to show everyone else's finale and potentially something else. But as you can tell I've already unlocked Violets, BT Bunos, Dominiques, Foulmouths, and Flemings. And I've also done everything with Whack Angus, but I have not done everything with T Rex, Count Earl, or Brian the Brain, because I want to go over those characters specifically. But today, we're going to start things off by going over the finales of the characters. This is Violets with meat. <laughs> yeah, kind of gruesome to say the least. I should see that Violet loves to kill a cartoon sheep, only to have them respawn again and again and again. Must be a hard life for that sheep. BT Bruno's big step brother, and he's actually a really nice one, honestly. You can't really blame it. I mean, like, he being a big stepbrother to look after those little kids. But he throws a rugby ball so hard he hits a girl in the bush. He smacks a boy in the back and he does a rollerblade right into a brick wall. <laughs> and then he almost crushes that boy's bones while you're hooking him. Oh. Anyway, here's Dominique's. Yeah, that's actually kind of it. I mean, a guy having two puppets, and then he says you got a guess of the Easter Bunny, but it cuts out to show the Easter Bunny because something terrible might have actually happened in there. Right, next up we got Foul Mouths with Digging in You. <laughs> I gotta say, poor Fleming. And whoever was inside that bag was obviously rustling around and Foulmouth had to silence him by whacking him with the blade of a spade. <laughs> oh dear. But here's Fleming's Simply Bruce. Thank you. 
Yeah, it seems like ever since Fleming became a part of Cell Damage, he became a little bit more of a bully to the bullies. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are many scenarios where it's like, there are kids who go to school who get bullied all the time, which is not right. Another thing that's not right, racism. And we see people being racist to loads of people. The most common being the Premier, the Barclays Premier League football players. And I will admit, it is not nice for people in the audience to be racist to the football players in the middle of their football game because it lowers their self-esteem and it makes them play terrible. And sometimes it makes you wonder, thinking, are they doing it just to help the team that they're supporting win the match or something? Because if anything, it doesn't make the world a difference. I mean, take Raheem Sterling, for instance. I think Raheem Sterling last year, received racist comments from the, from members of the audience, and look what turned out for him. In the current time present, Manchester City have only lost two games in the Barclays Premier League this current season, and Raheem Sterling has been playing really well. But, for what I can honestly say, don't consider racism to be an option because it's not. It's not nice at all. I mean, imagine if somebody was being racist to you. How would it make you feel? Not nice. So don't do it to other people. Anyway. Um, with the stages I have not yet done, I'm going to be doing um, a re-reference to some of the stages that I love playing the most in certain modes. We of course got the gate relay of the Temple of Boom. I love doing this stage a lot because it kind of does feel roughly like a racetrack. But um, there's not really much I can honestly say about this. But something else I should really mention. Uh, Whack Angus's special weapon um, is known to be, if I can actually see it around here, is known to be this, the cleavers. You basically throw the cleavers, door to be precise, and they home in on anyone that comes into your prey. Um, but what is actually kind of interesting about these cleavers, if you're playing on T-Rex's and Count Earl's stages, the box that gives you the cleavers have a yellow background on it. But if you're playing on Brian the Brain stages or Whack Angus's stages, they have a light blue aura around it. And it kind of leaves the question in thinking, why was this a case? Why does the same weapon have two different colours depending on what stage you play on? That is an answer I cannot give because I honestly do not know. It has honestly stumbled my mind ever since I first got this game. And... I would try my hardest to try to figure out the story of why um, that that is a thing. I mean, there might be some unused content that was uh, not brought into this game normally. I mean, there are scenarios every single time where you are playing a game and there are some things in the game that were scrapped for reasons that many of you will not know unless you do a lot of research on it. So it's kind of hard to make heads or tails about it, but... 
you can kind of see my point in this. I mean, it's like Sugar Conroy. He manages to find out hidden content about games that were scrapped for a living. Now, we've beaten the final stage of T-Rex. We've unlocked his signature move, the Shrink Ray, and a movie, render percentage zero. What I actually want to go over about this, it obviously does say we've unlocked a movie for T-Rex. Only problem is, you can't view it. Yeah, it doesn't give you the option to view the movie, plus, if you go into intro movies, it's not there either. So where could the movie have disappeared off to? That was something I tried to work out. Only problem was, it wouldn't let me find it on the internet. Because, apparently, nobody knows. I mean, creating a movie for Brian the Brain, Count Earl, T-Rex, and Whack Angus, and it doesn't allow you to actually see it. Now, doing Brian the Brain here with the races, um, he has really good traction with his car, with his vehicle, because it's the only vehicle in the game that uses tracks. That's why in the race stages, when you're fighting against Brian the Brain, he's always in second place or first place all the time. Because tracks are known to have great traction, no pun intended, but it is actually true. And you have a good sharp, sharp turn that allows you to go around... These gates, no problem every time. And, um, Brian the Brain Stages, apart from Babbling 5, sets a perfect example of this. Lunacy, you have to do sharp turns consecutively to get from point A to point B. And Shooting Stars is the same thing. Because you have to basically go through this gate... Sharp 180 degree turn, and then uh, go back to the gate that you previously was at before. Only problem is, the turning is so sharp, you can actually go right into the gate post. Now the reason why I didn't work that time is because I actually jumped in the air. But you can see where I'm coming from with this. And I also discovered why um, my opponents, when I was racing against them with Cinder, why they were moving so fast. Reason why is because if you pelt them with the pellets, look at that. They make the driver in front of them drive much faster simply just by pelting them with pellets. When you hit them with pellets, they move so fast, it gives them forward momentum allowing them to basically um, speed up. That was the reason why um, I couldn't catch up to Brian the Brain that one time when I was using Cinder, thinking, why the hell were they able to catch up to me so much? I had no understanding of why, but sure enough, I figured out why now. And, of course, it is also key to actually kill opposing po uh, opposing drivers, not Pokemon. Yeah, because we've been playing Pokemon recently, this week. Specifically, I've been doing a Nuzlocke, where I'm only allowed to use one type Pokemon in the entire game. And that one um, type is Steel. I'm doing a Steel-type Nuzlocke on Pokemon Platinum. And at the moment, I am actually at the very end. I'm at the Elite Four. Only problem is, 
I only have one Pokemon alive being Empoleon. If, if I can actually somehow manage to do it, it'll be a great recovery, beating the entire Elite Four of, of Aaron, Bertha, Flint, Lucian, and also Champion Cynthia using only Empoleon. If Empoleon faints at least one time, that's it. I failed the Nuzlocke. Now, you probably would have thought I actually would have had a Gate Relay set for Count Earl. I haven't, because there's actually something I want to talk about with the Flag Relay of Count's Castle, because there was something I was completely wrong about. If we get the flags, of course, you're going to have to, like, constantly kill your opposing enemies just to get the flags. Not really a massive fan of doing that, honestly, but it's the only option that you can do. Oh, there's a flag over here, and... Oh, oh there's the other flag. Okay, there we go. So, when I did this the... When I did this the first time, I thought you had to use this catapult to go inside the castle to basically win overall. Technically, that is true. But, the gate um, that actually has the bars blocking the way, I thought they never ever open and you need to use the catapult to get in, otherwise you're going to struggle. But what I found very interesting, and this is true to be the case, those bars actually do... Yeah, those bars actually do lift up. That, damn it. But they only lift up providing you have all four flags. Otherwise, they will not raise. Right, okay. Only problem about the mortar is that it has a bit of homing. Okay, there you go. We've got four flags. The drawbridge is down. There you go. The gate opens up. I never knew that to be the case because I thought the only way to get in was inside using the catapult. And that is all I can honestly say. So that's all of the stages done as every single character. And now if I go to the credits, you basically will get to see how all of these characters were created. So we'll do that. So this obviously is Violet. And you can see how she was partially created. It's hard to make out. But yeah, this is Brian the Brain. Def yeah, you can... I do apologize that you can hardly see how uh, the drawings are made out. Right, so that's BT Bruno. Right, this is Dominique. I think. Yeah. She's got a little bit of devil horns, and then she had a change of appearance that she'd look a bit more like, well, that. This is Count Earl. This is Fleming. I do apologize if that's the fact that you can hardly see the drawings because I wish it wasn't on a white background and they show the drawings at a much more better scene. But yeah, it's hard to make. I mean, that's what T-Rex was originally going to look like, and then all of a sudden they just made complete changes. To this. Absolutely bonkers. To say the least. This is whack Angus.
I know, it's kind of silly to say the least. But, yeah. <laughs> kind of obtuse to say the least. But, yeah, I wish that you was able to see the characters, um... Um, movies of Whack Angus and that, but unfortunately, there's just no way of ever doing it on the Xbox. There might have been a way where you could actually do it on the re release of the Nintendo Switch or somewhat, but I honestly do not know. If anybody knows what the movie is about, then you could message me at Shockinator1000 on Twitter, um, or you could visit my Facebook page, um, which, if I can try and bring it up for you without caps, of course, and I know I could easily do it with a Word document, but so far today, my laptop has actually been receiving problems loading stuff up, and it's kind of annoying me, to say the least. So yeah, if you go to facebook.com slash chocolate1000, you could message me on that. Um, or, I think it's probably just better if you either comment in the YouTube video down below of this video, or you could just basically message me on Twitter, like I said. But, yeah, you can see where I'm coming from with this. But that's basically all I've got to say about cell damage. I know it's a very short Let's Play series, and it's going to take some time to upload because I'm still in the middle of uploading Blue Fire. But, when we're all done, you will get to see exactly... Um what the next Let's Play is going to be, or somewhat, right after when I've uploaded everything from Cell Damage. But it's going to take some time for me to think. So, I'm going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next Let's Play, legit.